So your girl had a chance to chat with Brian Folkers, a former NFL player for both the Rams and Panthers. And this is his eighth year attending the pro football camp in Colorado Springs. What is something that you are most excited about, though, for this uh, year of pro football camp? Um, I'm just excited to get out there, see the look of excitement on the kids' faces, um, you know, getting to be around them and coach them. You know, these kids, you know, it's not every day you get to hang out with a bunch of NFL players. Absolutely. See their faces light up. Pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, That's what I'm most looking forward to. Yeah. Is there something that you take away from every single camp that you attend? Yeah, I, I try to make it a point to, uh, you know, make an impact on maybe one or two kids, you know, something something meaningful. And uh, I've been able to do that a few years, you know, make a real connection or try to reach out to someone who's maybe uh, a little more troubled or having a tough time and really just try to inspire somebody. So that's sure. always my goal getting out there is I just want to try to inspire someone. I love that. I love that. Is there a certain thing that you've noticed going into camp, um, like from the first day and then from the last day of camp, kind of a huge switch change? Like a lot of the kids nervous and then at the end of the camp they're more warmed up to you or what's something that you've noticed from first day camp to the last day yeah the first day you know they're all they're a little nervous you know they're around a bunch of kids that they've never seen before maybe they play against them on other teams um and by the last day of camp everyone's friends having a good time just joking around with the coaches or trying to tackle us and stuff but, you know it's, yeah. it's good to see everyone loosen up and have some fun out there Absolutely. Uh, what is one thing you were taught during your NFL days that you still live by today? I just think the number one thing I live by is, you know, hard work. You know, there's no shortcuts to success. And I think it's important for kids nowadays to know that because a lot of kids, you know, they expect certain things. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think the ones that, you know, get the scholarship offers and get all the recognition, they're the ones that are, are putting in the hours when no one's watching. And, right. Uh, that's, something I try, that's something I try to instill in them. Who was a mentor when you were at that age that you looked up to? Can you remember? <laughs> Shoot, yeah. Um, <laughs> I had a I had a next door neighbor who was uh, crazy good at basketball. Okay. And I, I looked up, I looked up to him a lot, and because we had a basketball hoop out in front of our houses and stuff, sure. And we'd be out there all summer long. But uh, his name was Jonathan. <laughs> but uh, we were, we were good friends, and I always looked up to him just because uh, he was just crazy good at basketball, and yeah. you know I always wanted. To- and he was he was a few years older than me too, and I was always trying to hang out with him and his friends and try to keep up with the bigger kids. Sure, sure. <laughs> Shout out to Jonathan, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Sure. Are you so guys still of, friends still to this day? Yeah, yeah. We still talk. We still text every once in a while. Okay. Uh, I see him when I go home. I've moved around the country a lot, but I bet. Know, but when I get back to see my folks, I always I'll pop over to his house and say, "Hey." What songs are on your go-to playlist? That could be if you're training, if you're just cruising around in the car. Like, whatever that looks like. What's your go-to song on your playlist? Ooh, man. You know, I, I do like that. Uh, I, I mostly listen to country music, but uh, that song, it's like, don't touch my truck. <laughs> <It's kinda laughs> like <laughs> <hip-hop. laughs> awesome. If you want to go ahead and just plug your social media where people can find you and things like that. Yeah, you can uh, find me on Instagram at uh, caveman64. Nice. And uh, Twitter, <laughs> uh, Brian Fulcher. <laughs> awesome. Well, cool. Thanks so much for taking time to chat with me today. Uh, Appreciate yeah, it. Sure.